Hello, class. Hello. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. Oh, good, good. How was your weekend? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How was Hello, Jorge. How was your weekend? Uh, pretty good, teacher. But yeah? Monday is always hard. Mondays are always hard. Why? Yes. Because, because, it's, because you have to you have to um, travel a lot, right? Wake up in in the early morning. Right. Yeah, that's true. Oh well. What time did you wake up? Three thirty. Three thirty. Wow, that is very early. Very very yeah. early. I'm so tired. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. I can imagine you're very tired. Oh no. You have to get, get to sleep very early too. Yes, you're absolutely right about that. Yeah, what time do you normally go to sleep? Um, normally I try to, to sleep maybe night there. 9.30? Hmm. Yeah, that's a bit early. But you have to, right? Because um, if not, you're not going to get, get up at 3 in the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. Hello, Tatiana. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. Yeah, good. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. The last week I had some troubles with my Wi-Fi, so yeah. I couldn't be here. Yeah, I yeah, I found I um I noticed. That's okay. So you, you got that fixed? Everything yes. Is yes, yesterday. Oh good, good, excellent. Okay. Yeah, that, that really sucks whenever you don't you have it. That makes yes. it very difficult. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Hazel. Hi, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Do you know the difference between good night and good evening? What? Between good night and good evening? What is the difference? Yeah. Do you know the difference? No, no, I don't have a clear picture. Okay, and does, does anybody know the difference between good night and good evening? Um, I think that good night it's it's too. It's like when we are going to sleep right now, and we say good night. It's like right. um, yeah, and good evening is for example at this time at eight a.m. that you are continuing your day. Mm hmm yeah mm -hmm. yeah exactly um yes we say when it's after 6 p.m normally after 6 p.m and uh when you say hi to a person after 6 p.m okay so if you're saying hi you would say good evening okay good night you only say when you are going to say bye to the person at night time or you're going to go to sleep, okay? Like the house, night when you go to sleep. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah, sometimes it could be a little bit confusing. So I mean, You guys all have a very good weekend. Have a good weekend, Hazel? 
you. It was very nice. Oh. I am listening to I am sleep a lot, I think. And yesterday I worked in my house because I have to clean up all my house and I washed uh, my clothes. But the rain is not working right now. Yes. And also, I I studied with my son. Oh. He's glad. Yeah. What is your son studying? Oh, my son is at first grade. Ah, so he's in first grade. Yes. Ah, okay. I thought he was studying English or something. You were yes. actually he's here. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We already finished the, the homeworks. You finished what? His homework. Oh, he finished the homework. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. That's good, that's good. So you're happy to know. But, okay, guys and girls, uh, we are going to start by taking attendance. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, listen for our names. When you hear your name, uh, please open up your microphone and say present or present. And then, um, and then you can turn off your microphone, okay? Let's do this quickly so that we can um, finish off quickly, right? That's, that's the idea, right? Okay, all right. So first one is um, Ani. Ani? No, Ana, Ana Maria? Ana Maria? Okay, what about Carolina? Carolina? Uh, Emily? Present. Oh, welcome, Emily. Okay, Hazel? Present, teacher. Welcome, Hazel. Um, oh, se me perdió. Uh, Joanna? Present teacher. Welcome, Joanna. Thank you. Jorge. Present teacher. Welcome, Jorge. Thank you. Um, give me a moment. Um, Give me one second, guys. Okay. Um, Karina? Karina? No, not here. Okay. Um, Carla? Carla? Um, Kevin, Santiago. Linda. Linda? Uh, Marlene? Marlene? Nelson? Present. All right, welcome, Nelson. Norma? Thank you. Norma? Olga? Present teacher. Welcome, Olga. Miguel? Present teacher. Welcome, Miguel. Rocio? Present. Good evening. Good evening, Rocio. Welcome. Uh, Beatrice? 
Welcome, Beatrice. Suleima. 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 Hello? Present, ah, Okay, there she is. Okay. Tatiana. Present. Yes, I hear you. Perfect. All right. Present, teacher. Okay. Tatiana? Present. Ah, there she is. Welcome, Tatiana. And Omar? Omar? No, man. Okay. All right. So just to make sure I have everybody, I didn't hear. Ani, Ana Maria, Carolina, Karina, Carla, Santiago, Marlene, Norma. Everybody else is here, right? Present teacher, Carolina. Hello, Carolina. Good evening. Good evening. Teacher. Uh, Ana Córdoba me está escribiendo que ahorita dice que cuando ingresa el enlace que mandaron en el grupo, la saca nuevamente, pero ya solo me envié yo con la contraseña. Ya le dije que se metiera manual. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Ya vamos a ver qué pasa ahí. Ok. All right. Uh, perfect. Um, okay. Uh, question. Um, how are you doing with the platform? Remember, today is it's um, uh, unit three is due. So how are we doing with that? No problems? Everything is clear? I finished my homework for unit three. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Mm -hmm. And remember, we also have to be working in the final exam. We don't have to present it today, or better said, uh, you don't have to finish it today, but you should be working on it so you're not, you know, freshen at the last moment. Okay. Uh, so we're, we're done with that? Yes? We're done? Yes, no? Yes. Yes? Everybody's done with that? Okay. Bah, bueno. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to start sharing my PowerPoint. And uh, you can tell me if you can see my PowerPoint or not. Can you see my PowerPoint now? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Yes. Okay. yes, teacher. Great. Okay, so today we already talked a little bit about the causative verbs, uh, part one. Now we're gonna be looking at causative verb part two, okay? Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. It's the intermediate three. It's May, number th it's May 30th, 2022, and it's class number 20. So, um, Let's start. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna be looking at this right here, okay? We have brand awareness, this is vocabulary, okay? We're gonna have match the branding components to the description, okay? We have brand awareness, perceived quality, brand associations, brand loyalty, property assets, okay? Um, any voc any words from here that are not clear? Like just the words. We understand awareness. Assets. Perceive. In the number five, assets. Oh, assets. Okay. Assets are um, uh, things that you own, like a, a, in a company whatever you own, like things that are your property, uh, your possession, okay? In Spanish, we call them? Articulo de uso personal, algo así. 
no future uh, assets what are assets in spanish we've seen this before viene de propiedad teacher uh -huh, okay but, oh. but what are assets? just the word assets not property assets just the word. like uh, assets Ah. Okay, so property assets are the assets that you have within a property. Okay, uh, property is the propiedad, verdad? De, de, um, like a, a like a building or a land. That's a property. Okay, yeah. So the 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 things that you own, the company owns the things that the company owns that are um like buildings and lands right things that they possess okay in, in a spanish teacher which is the the meaning okay but do we understand the word assets Yes, teacher. And we understand property or proprietary? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now. All right. Um, so I am going to, so, oh, the word, Joanna, are you asking about the word overall? CB. Okay. Uh, overall means general. Yeah, generally. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Disclose. In the line number four, teacher is the 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 word disclose. Oh. Disclose um is like um how can I explain this? Um revealed um some yeah that's something that you like it's like private uh, personal information that you reveal like classified classified yeah that's a very good way yeah classified um or but just like basically it's revealing that kind of uh, information or something uh -huh. Something like a warning, almost like a warning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Es en español es divulgado, verdad? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. So that you share, you share like personal things, private, confidential things. Okay. Anything else? Not the chair. No? No? Clear? No problem? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Let's uh, continue then. Um, so what I'm going to ask you to, uh, is to do, uh, like I said, you're going to match the branding components to the description. You're going to work in pairs and you're going to try to match them here. Okay? So I'm going to put you into breakout rooms. Um, and I'm going to give you not too much time. I'm going to give you about seven minutes to do this. OK, so let's open the rooms.
Eh, ¿Qué pasó, chicos? Beatriz. Ah, one moment, was in the break room, and then I was out. I don't know what happened. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna put you in another one then. Vaya, Carolina, ya sabe qué tiene que hacer, ¿verdad? Miguel, ¿qué pasó? No sé qué pasó, teacher, me, me sacó y de repente estoy aquí con usted nuevamente. Ok. Veamos qué pasa. ¿Piso? Eso. Carolina, ahorita la estoy mandando. I think it's uh, like, like an advice. Yes, but I guess it is. The number two, perceived quality, perceived quality. Perceived quality. Perceived, because of a perception of the overall quality of superiority of a product is in the number, line number one. Yes, it is. <laughs> I guess. The Customer perception of the number three, brand associations. Customers consistent purchase from from their preference brand regardless of the expenses. Each consumer and familiar with the testing qualities and all information that is considered in the real life. Uh, line number two. No, for me, number two is let me see. Customers consistently purchase product from their preferred brands regardless of convenience yes. or price. Yes, I guess. Let me check. Extent to, to which consumer are familiar. Extent to which consumers are familiar with the distinctive qualities of a brand. All information that is considered in the intellectual. Yes, yes, it is number. In the line number two. Customer consistency. Mm -hmm. Number four, brand loyalty. Extent to which consumer are familiar with the distinctive qualities of a brand. Uh, all information that is considered in the real or intellectual property that the first competitive advantage and that this should not be disclosed. Maybe it's in the, in the same line, number four. 
Let me see. All information that is considered. That is number five, all information, right? It is, huh? Which consumer are familiar? Brand loyalty. Uh, brand. Hi, girls. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Uh, you know what we're doing? Yes, like a weekend match. The, the... Some words with the definitions. Uh huh. Right. Yeah, yeah, pero I can I can take a capture picture because I went to disconnect with a little moment. Okay. okay, I'll share with you right now. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Well, Anna. Huh? We had this course in this, this terminal. This term. Yeah. Yeah. Qualities of brand. Because I was thinking that we may have mistake in the brand in the number three. Because for me, customer consistently purchase products from their preferred brands yeah. is brand loyalty. So it will be number four. Could be. Let me check number four, brand loyalty. Customers consistently purchase product from their preferred brands, regardless of convenience or price. Yes, that makes sense. And then number three will be in the line number three, two. The three brand association extends to which consumer are familiar with the distinctive qualities of a brand association. We're going to activate association in the customer's mind with the distinctive. The, the attributes of a brand that come the attributes of a brand that come into the customer mind when the brand is discussed. Awareness. Mm -hmm. Yes, number three in the line number three. Okay. But if there are time, we can check for make sure. Okay, you guys are ready. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Just want to review. OK, OK. Any questions you want to ask me? Uh, we have some doubt about brand association. OK. What is your doubt? Uh, the concept. Uh-huh. I don't look the, the concept very clear. Okay. 
Um, well, we're going to be checking the answers together as a class. And um, if something doesn't make sense when we check the answers, you let me know. But you know what? I always, I also will give you a little hint. It's, it's very simple. If you um, you are pretty sure of the other four, and there is one that is left, that's probably the right answer. It is. So if you're pretty sure of the other four, then you're pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that yeah, that's the well, correct. Answer. Sometimes I try to associate some words that that could be uh, in the partners. definition. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. So definitely uh, when you associate, um, yeah, um, associate words that, that are similar or exactly yes words that are similar mm -hmm. yeah. okay. okay all right we are going to check in a moment okay okay Okay, so I'm guessing you guys are ready. Um, I'm giving you, you know, enough time, so I'm hoping you guys will be ready. Let's check the answers. Um, tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, um, so the first one we have brand awareness. What is brand awareness? The attributes of a brand that come into the consumer's mind when the brand is discussed. I agree with her. Me too. I'm not agree. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. disagree. Disagree? <laughs> yeah, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Oh, wait a sec. Um, These words are very technical language. Hold on, just give me one second. Yes, teacher. And yes, Joanna, it's very technical, like an economistic language. Absolutely, yeah, that's, that's for sure. This is, this is what this course is about, to be able to um, not just learn you know, everyday language, but really learn language that is associated with jobs. And that's going to include technical language. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, give me one second. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I don't believe that's it. Mm hmm So what do you what do you think it is? Brand awareness. What is brand awareness? 
for me is the all information that is considered in the realm of intellectual property that the first competitive advantage and that it should not be disclosed. Mm -hmm. No. For me is the attribute of a brand that come into the customer's mind when the brand is discussed. I agree with her. With she. Teacher customers constantly purchase product for their preferred brands, regardless of convenience of price. No. Nope. I think it's all, it's, it's the one that you haven't mentioned yet. The attributes. It's the attributes of a brand that comes into the customer's mind when the brand is discussed. Nope. No. No. Oh uh, my God. Hold on. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Yes, it's the last one because they talk about the attributes and the all information that they are included, the brand is discussed. Yes, because later when we, we discussed about the brand, we have some knowledge about the brand that I come to the customer, into the customer. Mm -hmm. Is yeah, necessary the attributes to the brand. Is, a, is this a part of the our awareness? Brand awareness is a knowledge of the brand in general. It's um, knowledge, you're right. It is knowledge. Yeah. Uh, but it's mm -hmm. Yes. Um I think is <laughs> um extent to which consumers. Which one? Which one? The uh, extent to which consumers are familiar. Uh -huh. Are familiar? Are familiar what? Right now, I think is extent to which you're giving me half of the answer because I can't hear the other half. Hello? Hello? Okay. Well, as she can teacher also uh -huh. uh, we can talk about the all information that is considered to real of intellectual property is about the property assets because they talk about the activities. Oh, the word awareness, what does it mean to be aware? The awareness. Conscientizar. To have knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and when you have knowledge of something, especially when you have a very good knowledge of it, then you are familiar with something, right? Yeah? Does that make sense? So Teacher, when, what is the meaning of extent? Extent. It's like uh, to the, um, the quantity, the amount. Yeah? Uh -huh. 
to the extent. Hasta qué punto? Yeah. Okay. Right, so the extent to which cost consumers are familiar with the distinctive qualities of a brand. So they look, we have here, uh, the, the brand has different qualities, right? They have distinctive mm -hmm. qualities. Each brand has distinctive qualities. Well, the consumer needs to know. And when they know, when they know it well, they're familiarized with that quality, those qualities. And that makes them aware. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. 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 All right. Now let's talk about the perceived quality. This one should be customer's perception of the overall quality or superiority of a product. Right. Exactly. The customer's perception of the overall quality or superiority of a product. Okay. So yes, um, that's their perception of everything, of their, of what they think of the quality, how good the brand is, how good the product is compared to others, what their perception, what they, what they believe from their point of view, okay? Yes. All right, brand associations. Uh, the last one, the attributes of a brand that come into the consumer's mind when the brand is discussed. Exactly. Okay. Think about it. Association. What does it mean, association? What does that mean? When you're thinking something, you're related with maybe with a picture or whatever. Right, exactly. When you associate something, it means that you believe um, that you have something in your mind and you, you have this thing in mind and you have this in your mind and you make a connection, okay? So, but it's in your mind. To have association, you have to think about it and put this together with this in your mind that's an association so the so that means that's why it says the attributes of a brand that come into the consumer's mind when the brand is discussed so they they um they talk about a brand and they go oh immediately that that brand comes into their mind and they start associating this word with this word with this word with this word and they're all together related with the brand Okay, to give you an example, if I, if, if I say the word, I don't know, Coca-Cola, what comes into your mind? What, what words, what, what images come into your mind? Maybe the bottle or, or, or a can. Okay, so the, the shape of a bottle maybe, or yeah, or a can, uh, what else? What else comes into your mind? Sweet, fresh. Okay, sweet, yes. Fresh. Fresh. What do you mean fresh? Do you mean cool or cold? Cold. Yeah, mm -hmm. cold, okay. Cool. Yeah. Maybe you think of the uh, you think of the the uh, the color red. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe you think about yeah. uh, people like family gatherings. You know, lots of people in the house drinking drinking Coca Cola, right? Maybe you you associate it with Christmas, you know, and uh, you know things like that. So that's a brand association um, where you you mention a brand and immediately uh, different ideas come into your into your head, and you associate those ideas with the brand. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. Any questions so far? Not the chair is clear. Okay. Perfect. Let's continue. Brand loyalty. Customer consistently for for 
from from the preferred brands uh, regardless of convenience or price. Yes. Yes, I agree. Right, exactly. That's perfect. And this is pretty obvious, right? Because loyalty means that you don't, you don't, um, or you always are going to use that product. If you're always going to use that product, that means that you don't care uh, about the price. You uh, you don't care if there's other brands. You want that brand. Okay, that's brand loyalty. Because for whatever reason, you believe that is better for you. Okay. And finally, the last one, which is probably the most difficult one. <laughs> so is um, property assets. What are property assets? It's the last one, all, of, all information that you consider in, in the real of intellectual property. So, property is property is property is Yes, very good. Exactly. And it's pretty clear. Um, this one, because uh, it says talking about property, right? It says intellectual property that offers competitive advantage. So it means that because you have intellectual property, then you have an advantage over your competitors, okay? And, um, and that should not be disclosed. Like the fact that you have that, um, that uh, property, okay? So there you go. Any questions? No, teacher. No questions at all? Okay. All right, let me stop sharing. Um, class, I just, I have a question that you, I wanna ask you guys. Um, how many of you uh, work on Saturdays? Put up your hand if you work on Saturdays. Sometimes, Sometimes. I have to work. Sometimes? Like put up your, I mean, like put up your virtual hand because that'll be easier. Put up your virtual hand if you work on Saturdays. Nobody? Nobody works on Saturdays? Uh, sometimes, teacher, uh, this, Saturday, uh, this Saturday I have to work, but normally I, I have day off on Saturday. What about Sunday? How many of you guys work on Sunday? Sundays we free. You're free on Sundays? Yes. Everybody has free on Sundays? I think that all of us are free on Sunday. Yeah? This Sunday, yes. The other Sundays, no. Why, teacher? <laughs> okay. Now, I just, uh, I, I, I just wanted to do a little survey um, and... Um, uh, yeah, I'll. It, it's probably not that important, but I'll just just wondering. Okay. Um, okay. Anyway, uh, well, let's continue. Okay. So having said that, we're now going to be doing the next activities. Let's work in pairs. Uh, the instructions say: think of a national brand. Identify the components of their branding strategy. Use the questions below to guide you. Present your information to the class. Okay, so uh, national brand. You guys understand what a national brand is, right? It's pretty clear what a national brand is? Yeah. Okay, identify the components of the branding strategies, of the branding strategy that they use, right? So the brand awareness, the pursuit quality, the brand association, the brand loyalty, the property assets. 
um, use the questions below to guide you. For example, for brown brand awareness, we have what are some associations to this brand? Um, are those associations effective to positioning the brand in the customer's mind when shopping? With the perceived quality, do customers get the brand quality of its quality? The brand because of its quality? Is price key to the selection of the brand? Is the brand widely available, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Then we have in brand association, is the brand able to activate associations in the customer's minds? Does the brand create positive feelings in the customers? Are there brand extensions in the market? Okay. And then we have this one. Uh, are there many loyal customers for this brand? For This is brand loyalty. Do they help promote the brand via word of mouth? Do you understand word of mouth? No, you guys don't understand word of mouth? Word of mouth. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I didn't understand. Could you repeat that? I don't understand that. Word of mouth? Okay. Word of mouth means, um, a, for example, a, a, like, okay, advertising. Sometimes it's better to, instead of doing a lot of advertising, it's better to have advertising by word of mouth. It means that a, people, people are the ones that are going to let other people know about the place or the product, right? Or the service, and they recommend it to other people. That's word of mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like, so it's basically, other people know about the product or the service or the place, not because of advertising, but because somebody that they know told them about it. Teacher is like the, the marketing by the customers when they, when they uh, speak about the, the product with another. With exactly, another. yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly, that's word of mouth. So finding about finding out about the product or the service be from somebody that you know that recommends it to you. Okay. Yes. And then the other question is are customers satisfied with the brand? And finally for property assets is does the brand offer distinctive features to make it stand out from the competitors? Okay. So uh, we're gonna be discussing this with a partner. But before we go to our breakout rooms to discuss these questions, let's take attendance. Ani? Ani? Ana Maria? Present teacher. Okay. Welcome. Uh, Carolina. Thank you. Present. Uh, Emily. Present. Um, Hazel. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Hazel. Hazel? Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. All right. Joanna? Present teacher. Great. Uh, Jorge? Present teacher. Um, okay. Uh, Karina? Karina? Eh, Carla. Carla. Eh, Santiago. Mm, 
Linda? Present. Marlene? Marlene? And Nelson? Present. Um, Norma? Present, teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, Olga? Miguel? Present. Present. Okay. Um, Rocio? Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Rosa? Present, teacher. Um, Suleima? Present teacher. And Tatiana? Present teacher. And Omar? Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to, so everybody understands what you're going to be doing right now, right? Yes? Okay. I'm going to, um, I'm going to show you. Sorry, my mistake. I'm going to um, give you um, a few minutes to to talk about the the answers to these questions, but I'm going to tell you for ahead of time we are not presenting today. Today we're not presenting. We're going to be presenting to tomorrow. Okay. So two things. Remember who you're working with, okay? So that tomorrow we're, we're no one get confused and you think that you're working with somebody different. And second, uh, write down your answers to the questions so that tomorrow you remember and you can share, okay? Sounds good? Yeah. Yes, okay, teacher. good. All right. Um, Actually, since pretty much you're working, you working in pairs. I'll keep it. I'm just going to switch it maybe about two or three people. Okay, but yeah, I think. All right, so here we go. I'm going to open the rooms right now. Um, Okay, here we go. Let's open the rooms. O sea, uh, where at our some associate associating uh, to, to this brand are those uh, are those association uh, effective to position the brand in the customer minds when shopping. Uh, no, I went, they went shopping. Uh, okay. Went shopping. Okay, vamos. Uh, okay. 
vamos a quizás trabajar una por una, pero veamos qué marca. Okay. ¿Qué, qué producto eh, vamos a escoger? En el channel, quizás. Ok, en eh, Brand. Uh, Churrito, Tiana. <ríe> oh. Es que con eso habíamos trabajado, pero no me acuerdo. No remember. Eh, ah, es, para no estar uh, escogiendo tanto producto. Quiero ver. Ok. No Creo que se podía hacer uno. En Libran es a Diana. Uh -huh. Sí. En Libran, Diana Snake. Ajá. Diana okay, Snake. Ah, uh, a ver. Diana. Ahí lo tiene guardado, ok, Diana, ok. Sí, aquí. Ok. Eh, Brian Aguirre dice, dice. A ver, veamos. Entonces, eh, y Brian. Diana Product. Diana Product. The snake and brand and brand awareness awareness question what are what are some son algunas asociaciones que hacen que la marca. No, 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 Do you do you know this brand? Oh. oh no, I don't remember what is the name of the other. ¿Qué sería? Los quesos. ¿Eh? Los quesos. We have to choose a, a brand national. Real. But, yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, the la salud de de milk yeah this this i think that that um that product of that company have a very good brand because okay. uh, like everybody know about salud and the about um Uh, the product that they sell. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or they just that. Okay. <coughs> the first uh, below brand awareness. What are some association to this brand? ¿Qué asocia con esta marca? Milk and cheese. Milk. Are those association effective to position the brand in the customer's mind? 
when shopping? Um, I think, yes. <laughs> because when I, I went to the supermarket and I need milk ever, um, I, I buy this brand. Yeah, it's very important to Yes, that is very important for the, the for our health. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um the second so we, I have I have problem with my internet. I don't know why because it's very okay, no problem. And do you think uh I I I I, I lost so uh I lost we are in the first in the first in the first part uh, what are some associations to this brand uh, water coal beers sodas this this or or not what do you work no I think when you when you associate a brand is when you think in drinks, you think in la constancia. When yes. you are thirsty, you think in that product. Okay. Are those associations? Okay. Are those associations effective to position the brand in the customer's mind when shopping? Okay, the first one. Okay, this is brand awareness. And the second is perceived quality, perceived. I think there are like uh, 15 minutes. Okay. <laughs> We're starting with the first question. <sighs> I don't know if if she's gonna take us more time. Oh, okay. If because I'm thinking we can uh, shoot two of them and write apart the answers of the questions. I, for example, I can choose the the first quality and brand associations, and you can talk about brand loyalty and property assets. I think it's an option because I don't, I'm not sure about the, the, the time that we have to finish this activity. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah I, can, I can work in perceived quality and brand association and you will work in brand loyalty, loyalty and proprietary assets, right? Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. It's and, okay. And make together the first. Uh huh. Exactly, the brand awareness. For example, uh, I forget the, the idea that I tell you. <laughs> no. No, gotcha. <laughs> I have mind likes, or I don't know how, how is the name of this, but Lagunas Mentales. <laughs> I don't know. Hold in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a black hole in my mind. <laughs> <Black hole. laughs> okay. Um, okay. Rena. Ah, we we. I remember you talk about the the association, which is the. Which is the association in in this in this exercise when you say the the people think in all the the supermarket has to offer to the clients that um, for example, if you need something. Uh, you know that if you see the Super Selectos logo, uh, you can find it instead of another type of store, for example. Yes, but is is the same association with the logo? Yes, it's the same one. Okay. Okay, uh, we can pass to the next mm -hmm. per se. Association. We talk about, uh, about associations for quality grants. Maybe our foundation. The, or the, the other products that I can. Xiaoming, empanizador, tienen varias cosas. Yes. Mm -hmm. Y Blanc Rico. Mm -hmm. Entonces, eh, al Italy Quality Grains, Offer different national products. Yes. We tiene, tiene un eslogan también. Ya le voy a decir. T-shirt question. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, a little bit, we can present the, tenemos que tener la pregunta específicamente Pero, eh. y responderla, o solo tomar una guía. Mm, I don't understand the question. Can you repeat that question? That, uh, I say that if it's, if it's, it's necessary to write the question with answer, or this question, only can use like a guide. The guide. The guide. guide. Ah, like a guide. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, entonces dijo normal quality brands. Mm -hmm. I can share my screen. Maybe can you share the Wait. screen? Normal or I don't know. Introduction, uh, start, uh, Quality Grains is a national brand, which uh, after 25 years of experience, yes, has uh, over 25 branches exporting to different countries in Central America. Mm -hmm. 
Is is slogans is is our brands are part of everything good that El Salvador produce. Nuestras marcas son parte de, de lo bueno que El Salvador produce. Es un eslogan de ellos. Yes, we can, you can write. Our brands are part of the things that El Salvador produce. You guys are finished? No, teacher. No. Okay, I'm going to give you a few more minutes, Noli, okay? Okay, teacher. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Oh, bad. Oh, yeah. Is the brand able to the activity? Es a presque tu de selección o de brand. I'm sorry. Is the brand, perdón, is the brand uh, widely uh, available? Able to the active, 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 association in the customer minds. Yes. <laughs> estoy cansada. Hoy sí estoy cansada. ser entonces, yes. Is the brand really available? Uh -huh. Ay, no me he tomado las pastillas hasta ahorita que me dolió la columna, me estoy acordando menos mal. Ya lo voy a tener que tomar, si no voy a morir con el dolor. Vale. Uh, yes, yeah, according to the demand, the decline. Uh, number three is uh, just you, according to the customer demand. And so you finished or do you need more time? Hello? More time, teacher. You need more time? Yeah. Um, yeah. Apenas vamos por brand associations. Okay. All right. No problem. Yes. Uh, Excuse me. Okay. No escuché. No escuché lo que me dijo, pero lo último. Ah, sorry. No dice number. Oh, yeah. That's. I think uh, that is the end. Okay. And. 
I no, we trust in this brand because this product is better. Is yes, it's better than others. And when I think, oh, I want to buy something healthy, I think in that meal because they make uh, the company make um, um, a milk with. Uh, teacher, how do you say like? uh security mm, i don't know like um security, i don't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry like i feel uh, I, uh, I, uh, like security como seguridad en cuanto a lo higiénico. Um, hygiene safe. How? Hygiene safe. How thing? Hygiene. Safe. Hygiene is higiene, right? Hygiene safe. Uh, hygiene. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you guys, are you girls ready? No, teacher. Not yet, teacher. And we are going to present a, make a yeah, presentation. But not today, but we will be presenting. Not today, tomorrow. Yeah. We're going to do. Yeah. Tomorrow. Okay. But we are not ready yet. Not yet, teacher. Okay, that's why I'm asking. Are you We're discussing? Okay, all right. I'll, I'll give you a little bit more time. Okay, thank you, teacher. So, does the brand create a positive feeling? Mm, that that one is. Uh, does the brand create a positive feelings in the customer? Yes. What do you think? Does the brand create a positive feelings in your customer? Yes, for example, for example, we drink the juice juice in the breakfast. I am I am feeling I am positive feeling <laughs> because they are delicious. Yes. Uh, yeah, we 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 feel um happy uh, because uh -huh. I think that they are they have very good product. The the test of yeah. that very good. That another yeah. On that one, are the brand station in the market? Yeah, brand station in the market. Um, yes, product. of course. Mm. <clears throat> For example, uh, I I I say that everyone know about that product, so they are stationed in the inner inner country. For example, everyone know about that that milk. So I think that is that that's the meaning. The station. station. Teacher, and in Spanish, the question is 
que si esta marca está extendiéndose en el mercado. Which question? Oh, are the brand extension in the market? Are, are there brand extensions in the market? Uh -huh. Si hay extensiones de la, mar de la marca en el mercado. For example, with new product. Um, Yes, but that, that are related with the brand. Okay. So, um, to, to give you an example, um, mm, let me think. Um, I know, so I can do it. Think of, no, wait a sec. Uh, oh, okay. Let's think about like um, to to give you an example. Adoc. Okay. What what is what is the product that Adoc sells? Shoes. Shoes. They sell shoes, but there could be yes. extensions. Mm -hmm. Extensions to the to that product. So maybe they just, they don't sell just shoes. Maybe they decided, okay, we're gonna do all accessories. So they sell, they sell belts and um, they sell, um, I don't know, uh, sunglasses, for example, et cetera, et cetera. So those are extensions in the market with the, with the brand name Adoc. Do you, does that make sense? Okay. Yes, could be uh, this one extension to salute could be um, a chocolatinas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Because, yeah, yeah, could be because salute is known for. Um, in the, there is not a principal product, but. Mm -hmm. um, Yeah, in the in the well uh, fish, for example, is from Pope Casero. This is a extension of the brand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, you're almost ready. Um, not the chair. Somewhere. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give you about two more minutes, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Even if the price is lower, lower. Okay. I, I wrote Yes, because they prefer this brand than other, even if the price is lower. It's lower. Mm -hmm. There Sorry. are there are other brands cheaper, but but it's not the same quality. Uh, thinking about water mm -hmm. or soda okay uh, the other we are with property proprietary assets okay okay does the brand offer distinctive features it to does the brand offer distinctive features to make it stand out from the competitors yes ofrece la marca distintas características para hacerla resaltar de la competencia yes yes does the brand offer 
distinctive features to make it stand out from the competitors? Yes, because uh, they have, I don't know if you are, you are taste the, the new Coca-Cola with coffee. Yes, uh, I, I don't, don't like. I don't like, and I don't. I don't like uh, the flavor with the uh, vanilla. No. Yes, I know, but but kind of that I think is 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 the I don't know the feature or the the different things that that they they offer they offer than other another eso vea buscar brand associations ya no estoy presentando no okay. I can see your face now <laughs> <laughs> my sleepy face yeah <laughs> Brand associations, brand loyalty. Oh. Brand loyalty. Yeah, brand loyalty. Brand awareness. Receive quality brand associations, relation the brand. Does the brand create positive feelings in customer? Sorbete, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Ice cream. Okay, guys, um, so I think um, that you are probably not all ready. Am I correct? You haven't finished? Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. You're not finished yet. Almost, teacher. You're almost finished, but you're not finished. Okay. All right, so um, remember what I told you, we are not going to be um, presenting in class today. You're, you're going to be doing it later. So um, don't worry about it because, um, yeah, I'll give you some time tomorrow for that. Okay? Sounds okay, good. Teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, sounds good, everybody? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good. All right. Okay, so. Can you see my PowerPoint? Not yet. Yes. 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 Teacher. Right. yes, teacher. Two questions. How do you create a new brand or restore an existing one? Let's talk about this in class together. How do you create a new brand or restore an existing one? What do you guys think? How do you create a new brand or restore an existing one? I think that if I want to create or restore uh, a branding, 
I need a um, marketing investigation mm -hmm. for both cases. Because okay. if I want to create a brand, I have to know uh, what need I have to solve for the customers. And if I want to restore a, a brand, I want to know what is um, the weakness for this brand in the, in the market. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Anything else? Also, when we have to create a new brand, um, I share with my partners that I am fun fact about that because when we have a more knowledge about a, a specific product, uh, we can start to create it a brand. And we have we, we, we need to learn about more about more uh, I don't I don't know how can I say la psicología del customer. The customer psychology psychology? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had a study uh, and this knowledge and we need to uh, to study more about the preference of each customer. Okay, very good. All right. Next question. Is it effective to try and promote your product or service to everyone? Is that effective? Yes. <laughs> this is a, a important part or key part for the branding. If I want to, if I want to see my brand growing, I have to promote and, and show my, my brand or my products. Okay. Yeah, everybody agrees? Yeah, so I think it's important, important because you can have a feedback of your product or service and you can have, you, go, you can have more ideas to, to improve in your, in your product or service. Okay. Anything else? Uh, teacher, I consider the, the main idea is all the people know about the product that you want to, to sell. Then it, it's very effective to promote the, the most of the people that you can, you can get. Okay. All right, very good. Um, all right. Okay, so in here we have a conversation between, we have uh, Angela and Mateo. So Angela and Mateo are discussing about basic ideas to start developing a brand. And read the conversation and take turns practicing it. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm, I'm actually just going to read the conversation. You don't have to say it after me, okay? Um, I'm just gonna read it so that you can see how um, the words are pronounced. And then you, because of time, we're not gonna have that much time to, um, to practice, like um, to go over little by little. We're just, I'm just going to go ahead and read it, okay? So you can turn off your microphone, everybody, and you can do it, uh, you can do it right after me if you want, but I'm not gonna be stopping, okay? So it says, Mateo says, I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Angela, probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? Mateo, right? I usually let customers do some um, 
some promotion for me with business cards. Angela replies, your clients can't help you do all of the advertising. You already decided what kind of law you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand. Hold on, I think there's, there's something missing there. Let's stop. Uh, you want and define the brand you want. That's what's missing. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do right now Um, okay, so that was the, the conversation. And as usual, what we're going to do is we're going to read the conversation between Mateo and Angela. One time you're going to be Mateo, the other one you're going to be Angela. And then, at, then complete this conversation with the sentence below. So you're looking at the sentences and using this conversation, you're gonna complete this, okay? So let me put you into breakout rooms. Um, I'm gonna keep it in pairs, right? Because that makes sense here. There's only two people. I'm just going to recreate the groups, okay? Um, Sorry, yes. teacher. Yes. Could could you could you put again the screen, please? Uh, sure. Thank you. This. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so I'm going to put you into the breakout rooms and you can practice with your partner. Okay, um, I'm gonna give you about oh, seven minutes. Actually plus six, here we go. I went into business as a, as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customers. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Okay, probably, probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business card. Your clients can't help you to do all the advertising. You already decided what kind of law you focus, focus on. Now, you have to focus on the kind of client you want to work with, uh, define the brand you. Okay, now you are Mateo. Mateo, I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. 
competition, competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do, how do I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion for me with business cards. Your clients can, can help you to do all the advertising. You already decided that kind of law you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you. Okay. okay, look at the conversation. And complete okay. sentence below. Yeah. I, <laughs> I people, I, I help people find, I help people find the best way out of legal trouble. Do you agree? Uh, okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, uh, what is it? I help find. Oh, okay. I help people find the best. I help. I help people find. People find the best. Oh, okay. The word is a. Uh, I. Help. I help. Find. People find help and find. Yes. The best way you live trouble. Okay. I just usually let customers let customers do. Let customers do just yes. some promotion. Some some promotion on the platform. Do some advert advertising. Mm -hmm. so, this Albert Albertine for me. Albert. Ah, okay, let uh, usually okay. some promotion. There are other uh, Albert. Uh, it's not the same. Oh, oh no. Okay. I'm I'm checking for if there are other yes clients uh, can uh, help you to do all, all the advertising. Yes. Okay. The advertising. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you one uh, practice of new? Yes. Okay. Do I start? Uh, okay. I went in. Yes. Yes, there is. Okay. So answer uh, the question and complete. Complete the something. Yes. I, I went to uh, people i help people i help people uh -huh. find the best way out of the legal trouble mm. the best mm. way of legal trouble i just I usually I let I let customers do do some Albert, some advertising. For me, I'm going to come. I'm going to complete the sentence. Not like, like write the sentence. And the last one, your clients can clients can help you to do help you to do your clients the first uh, in the first no, i don't know it doesn't uh, have the infinity hmm? mm -hmm. it doesn't have the infinity 
Watch infinity. <laughs> to do? Uh, I don't know. I do. I, I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Understand me? Why? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. Now you, you say something. Mm Okay, all right, so let's check the answers. Um, a moment. Okay, first question is, okay, so number, the first one is? I help people. I what? I help. I help people find help the best way out of legal trouble. I, I help the people find the best way. way. Good. I help people find the best way out. Help of people the find, find yes the best way out of legal trouble. I usually let customers let do it. Calls. Customers. Do do some advertising for me. Do some advertising for me. for me. Your clients can't help you. Can't help. The they can't help you to do to do you do. To do. To do. To do all the advertising. Okay. Sounds good. Yes. Okay. So um, let me explain very quickly a little bit about this. If you notice, um, we're using um, help and let. This is what we call the causative verbs. Okay, these are part of the causative verbs. Causative meaning that um, um, that that somebody or something causes another person to have a reaction or to do something. Okay, that's the cause. That's what the causative verbs mean. That I make somebody do something for me, or I I, I cause. I in some way I cause another person or another thing to do something, okay? So we can use, last time we saw um, causative verbs was make and, what era la otra? Do you guys remember? Make and get. And get, that's right. There are many, there are many. And these are the, the other two, okay? So we can use, just to make it um, easier for you guys, we can use help, Okay. Or we can use let. Let. Okay. And after that, we have the somebody. So some the some but someone and your somebody doesn't matter. Okay. And after that, with um, the with the um, help, with help, we use the base form of the verb or the infinitive. And with the let, we only use the base form of the verb. So remember the base form of the verb is no change, no change whatsoever, just the verb in the original form. So we have the training helps, that's the verb. Small businesses is someone, sorry, small business owners, sorry, is someone. And replicate is the base form of the verb. 
Now you can also use the infinitive. So it looks like this, a marketing expert could help, could help is the, the, the verb. The someone is you. And then the, in this case, we're using the infinitive to understand the basic principles of branding. Okay. And then here we have some companies let clients go through a service. So we have the verb here, let. The someone is client. And the base form of the verb is go through. Okay. And over here, yeah, so go through a service trial before they decide to purchase. And the other one is an effective brand lets people explore the benefits of their product. So we have the verb let's here. So it let like the verb, the verb help, let, make, get, all of those can be in any form. It can be the present, the past, the future, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's why we have like, here we have simple present helps. Here we have a model, a model auxiliary, we have could help. Um, here we have um, let in the simple present, and he, um, sorry, it could also be the simple past. Um, and here we have the simple present lets, okay? And after that, we have the base from the verbs. So for example, here we have go through, here we have explore, okay? And I've given you some extra ex examples here. We have, he helped me carry the boxes, okay? You help me carry the boxes. So help the some is uh, the verb. Me is a someone, and the base form of the verb is carry. Um, however, however, um, okay, uh, we could actually. Remember it says the, the base form of the verb or the infinitive. So we could actually do the same thing here. Instead of just saying, he helped me carry the boxes, we can say he helped me. He helped me what? And what's the infinitive? What's the infinitive of carry? Carry. To carry. To carry. Yeah. Okay. So the same situation here. Okay. Um, okay. But in this case, when instead of just saying carry, we can use infinitive to carry. So that's one of the, it's a very special kind of um verb because most of them we either use the infinitive or the 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 or the base form of the verb but this one we can use both the same thing for this one reading before um, bed helps me relax okay um, we can also do that one with the infinitive and it would end up being what what's the answer for that one So this one would be, he helped me. Hold on. Oh, there's something help. Something help happen here. Let me try to figure this out. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why we have it here. Okay. All right, any questions so far? No teacher, any question? No, no questions? Okay. All right, so that's gonna be all for today. We're gonna finish there. Thank you very much for your attention. And we're just gonna quickly do the attendance, open up your microphone so that we can do this as quickly as possible. We have Ani. Present teacher. Uh, Ana Maria? Present, teacher. Great. Carolina? Present. Great. Um, Emily, Emily? Present. Great. Um, Hazel? Present, teacher. Um, Juan? 
present teacher if I if you say Joanna. Yes, I did say Joanna. Okay, present. Okay, good. Um, um, Jorge. Present teacher. Karina. Carla. Linda. Marlene. Present. Um, Nelson. Present. And Norma. Present. Olga. Olga. Miguel. Rocio. Present. Beatrice. Suleyma. Present. And Tatiana? Present teacher. And Omar. Okay. All right, guys, uh, that will be all. And uh, according to my list, um, Tatiana would be um, the person for the one-on-one -on -one session. Okay? So that's it. Acuérdense, tienen que entregar la unidad tres para mañana, tempranito. Okay? So take care. Have a good weekend. Sorry, okay, sorry. A good evening. <laughs> sorry. Have a good see. evening, and uh -huh. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. See you. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. See you. Okay, Tatiana, ¿qué tal? Bien, teacher, aquí poniéndome al día. <laughs> okay, sí, yo sé que ha sido un poco difícil. Eh, sí. ¿cómo, has, ¿Cómo la has sentido hasta el momento? Eh, bien, lo único que quizá he tenido, hoy sí he tenido un poco de problemas y he estado un poco confusa con la, con la plataforma. Eh, una, porque no sé si se arreglaron los algunos que estaban dando error, no sé si se acuerda. Uh -huh, eh, no, ¿verdad? Eh, creo que en uno de ellos um, sí está ya, ya, ya está arreglado. Ah, ok. Y otra, pues que he dejado algunas cosas sin completar porque, por ejemplo, tenía algo de la unidad, quiero ver, que... O sea, la, lo de la parte de enough, a mí me ha quedado claro en el aspecto de que yo sé que cuando, cuando hay un adjetivo, eh, va primero enough y luego el adjetivo. Uh -huh. Pero en preguntas como, o por ejemplo, cuando es people, por ejemplo, no sé si ahí va siempre enough antes o va... People, porque ese es un nombre. Mm -hmm. En teoría tendría no. que ir antes people. Mm -hmm. no. ¿Verdad? Enough. No. Enough people. There aren't enough people to make, to uh, open the class. No hay suficiente gente para abrir la clase. Lo que pasa es que yo tenía una oración que me quedó pendiente de una de la unidad que era where can I find for, for the game, por ejemplo. Entonces, eh, para mí, yo ahí puse la oración como where can I find enough people for the game. No sé si más o menos se la puedo poner en el chat para que lo pueda ver. Um, o lo puede proyectar. Eh, si me deja... Porque todas estas, todas estas, no sé cuál es el. Creo que es. Esta parte la he dejado porque no, no sé si es que me da error. Is it enough one to go? To the bridge today, y ahí está el, el signo. Ok, warm. Warm, ¿qué es? Adjective. 
is an adjective. Entonces, ¿qué va primero? El adjective or enough? Adjective. Adjective. Uh -huh. Entonces, primero. Y lo otro es de que yo le sugería que ponga warm con, con, um, con minutos. Sí, tiene razón, ya lo vi. Eso también es, es un error que no me va a dejar pasar. Uh -huh. Es que a veces los intento de tantas maneras y al final los dejo con las últimas que he intentado. Ok. A ver, intente. Pero me sigue. Ah, hay un espacio. En acá. Uh -huh. A ver. Is it warm enough to go to go to go to the beach today? Se le pido el to. Is it warm enough to, to go to the beach today? Ah, sí. <laughs> I know. It is warm. Pero bien raro porque abajo dice precisamente correcto, le da 10 puntos. Ajá. Um, o no sé si es esto. No, ¿verdad? Ah, pues sí, sí puede. Mm. De momento. Enough to go. Este es, ¿qué, ¿Qué ejercicio es? Es el. ¿Qué le digo? Está en la 2.14. Ah, es de la 2. Ah, ok. Está súper fácil. Solo pongo la respuesta, literalmente. No escriba toda la, la oración, solo la respuesta. Ah, ok. Yo a ver que está súper fácil, así. Ah, y aquí lo dice también, teacher. Only type the adjective clause enough or adverb clause. Ah, Hay razón. Pues por ahí creo que... Uh -huh. Solo sí. tendría que poner warm enough. Eso, muy bien. Eso es todo. Ah, ok. Y de ahí debería de agarrarle. Ok. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ah, pues sí, continúa así y yo creo que con eso ya. Sí, tiene razón. Lo voy a, lo voy a intentar así por lo demás. Creería que, que no. O sea, sí, sí, sí me va quedando. Como, como claro. Ok, perfecto. Entonces, en ese caso, eh, intentemos. Eh, y si hay alguna pregunta, mañana me la hace. Está bien, Tichi. Ok. Ok, bueno, en ese caso, eh, cuídense mucho y que tenga feliz noche. Gracias, teacher. Gracias. Buenas noches. All right. Buenas noches.